Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. This here is the remainder of the Goodwill Blue Box Part 2. Um, I put a couple of things in here that I was afraid were going to um, tangle really bad. So that's the reason why they're in in a box, the bags I mean. So needless to say before I ended the video, this was one big huge cluster of knots. So I spent probably four hours yesterday sitting on the couch watching TV and pulling this stuff apart. So I'm going to show you what we have today. This wasn't um, the best of boxes. Um, I probably will make my money back on it, but barely. Uh, there is a couple nice pieces like that big um, turquoise colored necklace that was in the thing yesterday. Um, and there's a couple of things in here that are rather interesting that I will show you. So let's get started. I don't know how I'm going to lay these all out to keep them from getting tangled up as it was some job. So anyway, let me remind you, please, if you would, and be kind to like the video. Very important. Comment. Um, whether your comments are great, good, or suggestions, or just plain bad, please put a comment in. Um, I appreciate all those. I do read every one of them. I might not answer back, but I do read all the comments. Um, share, hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when I open, um, start a new video or upload one. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It's very important to build it up. Like I had said previously, when we get to um, uh, 400 views, and we're at right now, right now we're at 345. Uh, I'm going to give away a huge bag of jewelry. Um, the only thing is, is you have to be a member of the channel. And you have to be registered with me. And so all you have to do to register is either send me an email with all your information. Or the best way is to send me a text. And um, I'm sorry for some reason, my my text number had gotten alleviated, but I did put it back down there in the description box below the um, the video. So let's get started and um, see if there's anything in here that uh, appeals to anyone. Now, yesterday we got one of these. Um, these little bracelets, it's the same thing, but it didn't have this on it. Now, I'm not sure what that is. It does kind of look like silver, but I, I'm not going to say that it is. And they, so there's, there's two of these. There's a matching one in this one. Okay. Let's see if I can pull these out without tangling everything. I'm going to be... I just got to lay them out. This is just a wooden necklace with a barrel clasp. These are, by the way, good for guys. Guys like to wear these little wooden um, rikishi bead necklaces. I have another one in here that I'll show you. That would be perfect on a guy. Okay, here we go. Let's pick one out.
Okay, this here is a New York and Company. Um, single strand up above, double strand down below. It's acrylic. Double strand, excuse me, triple triple strand down below. Okay, let's lay that out here. What's next? Well, we have these. Um, if anybody knows what these are with this, these almost feel like wax. I've gotten these before. I know they're bracelets. They're strong. They're made well. And uh, usually different colors. But they, they, they feel weird. So if anybody knows if there's another use of these besides being bracelets and jewelry, let me know. There was these two. Okay. Oops. All right. Let's see what I can pick up without ruining anything. Okay, I'm getting there. I tried to lay everything out as best as I could. Not good. Okay, this uh, here, the reason why I kept this and didn't put this in the trash is that these have Absolutely beautiful glass beads on there. There's some foil beads. And uh, this is this is a good craft piece. Uh, I think there might have been one more strand. Um, instead of just, because there's like three on this side and only two on this side. So you want to save this for the beautiful glass foil beads. This would be something good for you. All right, now this is broken. The chain is broken on it. To me, it looks like sterling. I'm not positive, but it kind of looks like it. Let me see if it picks up anything down here. No, I think the chain is sterling. I don't know what this is here. Um, but it's a dragonfly. And this is a purple background with green sparkles in it. So this would be just for the pendant because the pendant is very, very pretty. All right, and put that over here. I think the chain will be scrap. Okay. And we have this. That's craft. Um, this here. Um, this is a piece of leather. With all this going through it. It's got a large bead here that goes through the chain here. Um, this is quite different. It's got some issues, but it's a it's a nice a nice uh, necklace. And what I mean is some of the chain here has to be reconnected together. Right here, as a matter of fact, these here have to be. Uh, untangled and then reconnect it. So let me have that. This craft. This is just um, really cheap, lightweight stuff.
here is um this is a handmade it's pretty interesting uh i don't know if it's macrame i think it is but it's a handmade rosary pretty interesting very 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 lightweight so i'm going to take this and put this over here i hate putting things like that into craft all right this is another craft piece uh, all right this here has got a big old pendant on it there's one stone missing uh, this is also a new york and company i'm going to put this in a craft lot also okay i did find um let me get this apart there we go i did find the other clasp these are gorgeous they're kind of heavy i'm going to try them out and see how they are and uh I'll let you know as far as the weight that they are on the ears, but they are so pretty. Um, I didn't check the writing or anything on them, if there was any writing on them. And I would really, I, the reason why I like these is that they hook. They're not just going to fall out of your ear. So these, these are pretty... Uh, I will let you know more about these as I check them out. They're a very pretty color. And that's, they've got a lot of pretty stones. Let me put these up here. Because they're not going to go anywhere yet. All right. Then I have these. These are from Clears. These, believe it or not, were... I don't know if you can read that, but it says... My eyes are terrible. 659 or 650. These are all little barrettes. Um, there's one missing. And they got little rhinestones on them. So I'm put those over here. Okay. Then we have just a loop here that goes through this. That's going to go into craft. This is this thing here is heavy. All right, that's a single earring. This is acrylic. This here, it's old. It's on a spring ring clasp. It's very very pretty. But these are all acrylic. There's some wood beads. If you're a person that can't handle anything really heavy on the neck, but would like something that's um, very pretty and sparkly, this is nice. Okay. And then this is a stone stretch. Um, this is um, natural howl white. Now, how white is black and white in its natural state. Magnesite is brown and white in its natural state. These are very, very, very highly polished, really good stones. Very pretty. I'm going to leave that here. And we have this. Just a crafty thing with an extension. You know, nice little layering piece. Not a bad item. Okay. 
And we have, let's see, we have a couple really thin things. There is this. I got it. There's a knot in it. I got to get the knot out and check and see if this is anything. Um, it's got a very nice chain. I wouldn't be surprised. Let me just check real fast. Okay, the, um, this here, the seashell, is magnetic, but the chain isn't. So if I get this untangled, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a nice sterling silver chain. So we'll keep that over here so that I can check it. I'm just looking to see if there's anything I can find. Now, this is really cute. It's not anything real special. Um, it's got a spring ring clasp, and it's a gold chain. And it has a really cute little heart at the end. And if you can see it, I don't know if you can or not. It has a P. So I didn't test that to see if it was a diamond or if this was just married to this chain and it was gold or something. Probably not. Let's see what we got here. Nothing's magnetic on this, so we'll keep this out of the safe, out of the safe, and put it over here. Okay, I'm finished with this pile here on this side. Let me just make sure nothing fell. Okay. Now, this I'm probably going to fix. This is a weird, weird thing. This is not, this is more of a, I don't know, more of a slider type thing, but it's huge. Now, I don't know if this could be worn as an anklet. I didn't try, but all the parts on here are so nice and uh, there's a lot of different ones like this one here is copper with gold because this is definitely not on stretch so I have to see if this fits as an ankle bracelet anklet or make the decision because even let's see here let me see this would be about the space i think it would even be too big if i put it together as a bracelet i'd probably have to leave a couple out so we'll figure that out but it's really pretty Very nice. Okay, we're getting there. I think we're we're about halfway. Now, yesterday I showed you this. I sort of got it straightened out in the proper way that it goes. It is a total of a one, two, three, four, five strands. And then it has the long tassel at the end. I got the tassel really, other than the fact that there's a couple of ones that were long, is really in good shape. It's not in bad shape, so I'm going to 
take care of that and let me see here this is your it's got a little line showing at the end of this it's a nice piece again lots going on here rhinestones and different charms and different beads and really cute all right time to start a new pile all right now we have two brooches um this is marked i think i didn't look at it yesterday this is coro and it's definitely um, not a newer coral, but it's very pretty. Okay. On the other spectrum, we have this, which is enameled. I don't think there's anything on the back of it is something look real fast since i have the loop out no i don't see anything but it's a it's a substantial pretty butterfly brooch okay we have a pair of copper earrings Very nice, large hoops. Um, they're a little, they're not heavy, but they're a little heavier than um, what you would think they are only because they're copper. So, we have those. This is cute. Now, I'm not, I didn't test this. Um, I don't see any marking on the lobster claw class, but there's all these pearls. And then down here, there's, let's see what this here says. That's weird. It says A87 on one side and the other side is nothing and then it has this part which i don't see any markings on it but i polished it and i didn't finish polishing it but i mean i i gave it a quick polish and it really shined up so this is a nice piece it's long I think it's actually long enough you'd be able to double it. So if anybody knows what that mark is, that A87, let me know. This I kept only because I thought this was the cutest thing. And I'm hoping that I have one other box of um, the Goodwill that I had gotten around the same time and I know probably not but I'm hoping that this is in there it's so cute so it's a little ear corn and I've never seen anything like it it's old so we have that and we put that here there's another single ear in here good for um what do you call uh, repurposing and this here there's a nice heart charm that can be taken off of 
this earring. Nothing's fixed here. Okay. All right, we're on to this side. Now, this is interesting here. We're almost finished, believe it or not. We're getting there. Um, this is a, a Rivoli, clear Rivoli. Um, and this is a mystical piece. It has um, a castle. As a dragon. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is on here. There's a couple other things, but I can't offhand. And I married it to this chain because I thought it went well because it was just a pendant by itself. So you, it'll come with this, and um, you can do whatever you would like with it. But this is a pretty nice piece. I'll put that right here. Okay. We have this. Let me see here. I'm gonna end up making a big mess. Okay. Now this here is um, signed. This is Alia Sophia. And this, you can make this a, a, a pretty much a, a choker. This is all crackle glass on here. This is an actually really pretty, delicate little necklace. It's in great shape. There's the signature on it. And you can make it longer. It's got a very, very long, at least three inches, if not a little bit more. And it's in great shape. Okay. Let's see what's next here. Here's another. Now, these are also crackled glass, but these have a pink cast to them. And this is Leah Sophia. And this is three chains that uh, can be actually worn with that other one if you want it to. And it also has a nice long thing. These got a pinkish cast to them. Very pretty. It's funny that there's two crackle glass in here. See if I can get this out of here. This is just a, a mixture of different seed beads on wire. So um, you'd have to heat it up a little bit or just wear it the way it is because it is very strikingly beautiful. So that over here. We have two torques. We have this one. I don't see no marks on this. This is a nice torque though. Um, it's got some weight. And then we have, boy, let's wait on that one. We'll put this torque here. This is all sterling silver. This is on, I'm pretty sure this is leather. And if you look at this down at the bottom there, it's 
not not nine two five as is the um the lobster claw clasp very brutalist but very nice and it did if I use my finger here I cleaned it up a little bit but it you can see it does shine up pretty nice. So that's a very nice piece. Oh boy. Well, I tell you, I had such a job getting this all untangled yesterday. It was unbelievable. So that's why I'm trying to be now oh, I got this tangled up. I'm trying to be careful. I fold on to that. There's a little angel pendant. Now there is a pair of these. I don't know if one of them might have fell. Here's the other torque. Okay, and we have this, this is a gold tone, very pretty, different colors, I think this is acrylic, and there's a single earring that I thought was cool as hell. So I kept it to the side because I might make it, I might make a pendant out of it. It kind of reminds me of um, some of the uh, um, jewelry from uh, Kirk's Folly, just with the way that it was made. So this I'm going to do something with. Now, if I can get this apart, that I just tangled all up again. This one is a New York and Company. This one here is a pain in the butt. I'll get this out afterwards, but this is a, a black chain and it has a big black stone. It's rather nice and like I said it's New York and Company. And this other one is a brutalist thing and it has all these really pretty. It's on a double strand of um, wax thread and then it has all these pretty glass beads on another thread. Let's see here. There we go. Let's try this. Undo it. Here we go. The weather's been so hot here. It's hard for people to work. Yesterday I went down to physical therapy and uh, when I got done I had to sit there. Um, I don't know what I did here. Let's see. There we go. Um, I couldn't leave right away and come home because I, um, I, I had been so weak. This is pretty. I had been so weak that um, 
I have no strength. I'm getting better. And every day that I go, I go twice a week. And I'm sure he's going to order more when I go and see the pain management doctor. Wednesday. Wednesday's a busy day. I got blood work. And, and uh, this is the other one I was showing you. Then I go see the pain management doctor. And this says something on here. But. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty piece. Okay. We have this. This is sterling. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable here. I'm not sure if. The stones are the cold. It's a turquoise or what? It's a very, very well made bracelet. It's marked 925 on the back of this. It's heavy. There we go. It's a little bit better. You can see it better. Very pretty bracelet. So anyway, when I got done, every day I try to do a little bit more. And uh, there you go. Very pretty bracelet. I try to do a, 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 I try to go a little farther. Got to find the other one of these. Oh, here it is. These are pretty. These are little stars. Here's the other pair, and then the other piece. So what I was saying is I go a little bit farther each time. I do different things, too. Um, they have me do a hand bike. I didn't do that yesterday. And then they, um, they have me do a treadmill because I had no strength in my legs. And I do the bike. That's for your legs. And then I do pulleys. And yesterday I did double on the pulleys and I did 20 on each on each exercise compared to 10. And I did 8 minutes, which is the highest that I've ever been able to do on the bicycle. And I was, I was, I thought I was in trouble. And, and anyway, then I got up and I, I usually do uh, 8 minutes or so on the treadmill. Well, I did 11 minutes yesterday, so when I got done, they're like, are you okay? Are you okay? You need some water? You need some water? I says, no, I'm okay. Just let me sit here for a couple of minutes. So uh, that's what I did, and then I came home. I was shot for the rest of the day. This is a pretty bracelet here. Um, I would say it's a rose gold tone, and this has a really pretty, uh, this is a memory wire. Um, really pretty uh, cross with a stone in the middle of it. Very pretty bracelet. These are mine. Now here's the other one I was telling you about. That, that would be a perfect one um, for a man. And this is old. And these are all genuine he-she beads and um, stone. Uh, men like these because this has a, a spring ring clasp on it so it's not a new one I mean it's not like um, uh, like it's 100 years old or 50 years old but um, these are very popular 
I'm trying to think. Because um, Reed used to wear one of these all the time. Normally his had a big bead in the center. So this has, um, I'm not sure if these are silver or not, but it's got adventurine. I think there's some tiger eye. And that's definitely carnelian in there. Very, very, these are very pretty. I just undid it so you can see it. It's really nice. And they're very flexible. Okay, then we have these three bracelets. And this is a long wire bracelet. Let me put this on so you can see it. This is really pretty, the colors on it. It's all seed beads and beautiful beads. Very pretty. And I think this is the last piece. Let me see what this is. I don't know what this is. We'll look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even know where this came from. It's a pendant. And I'll show it to you in a second. I'm going to look in the box because he's missing a leg. All right. Then we have this. This is a really pretty. These, I think, I'm not sure, maybe wood. It's got a lot of. It has a lot of different things here. I must have it backwards. Every way I turn it, it's got pearls on it. It's very um, to do with the ocean, coral, you know, imitate it. Beautiful down at the bottom. Everything looks good. Lots of pearls on here. All kinds of starfishes in different shapes and stuff. This is a very, very, very nice necklace. Let me open this up. You can see it. Too much stuff here now. There you go. Look at how many of these starfishes there are. Big one of these. I know there's another one on here. That one. This small one. So, you got a lot. Very pretty. So that's pretty much the end of this. Now this, I got to look. I don't know where this came from. He's missing a leg. Maybe it'll be in the box. This was a pendant, not an earring. It's a skeleton. His leg is missing. Okay. And then I have a chain. It's one of those ball chains. And everything else that's left. I don't know if you can see in here or not. Pretty much garbage. Other than the fact of the earrings. So I will go through this and see if I can see his leg. And I will sort the earrings out and start a new earring bag. 
Well, anyway, well, this turned out to be a very long video. I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to um, get through it. Um, there's a few pieces here that also are very, very nice. Um, this is real nice here. Uh, this one I love. This has got a lot of all glass and lots of sparkle. And a lot of people don't like these, but this is a well-made one. It's actually got crystals and everything on it. It's really pretty. It's got some fiber optic beads on it. I think this is a Leah Sophia too. It is. It's made really well. It's a beautiful piece. So, I guess that's it. And uh, I hope all well, you have a, a wonderful day. And uh, like I said, stay safe and uh, don't go running around in any, any thunder and lightning storms like we get here. Oh, this one crazy here. It's another one of those. This is all glass. It's all beautiful. Um, this one's New York. This is a really good quality for New York. So you all take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon with something a little bit more different than uh, what you saw here. And eventually we will go through, this is nice, um, another box of this, and maybe some of the things that are missing here will be in that box. Okay, you all take care. Love you guys. Thank you for coming and watching my video. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, how much you guys all mean to me. So, you all take care. Bye-bye.